Hello everyone and welcome to JAM Academy. In this example, we have a man of mass M1 standing on a platform of mass M2. He pulls himself upwards using a rope over a massless and frictionless pulley. So the question is, we need to calculate the acceleration of the system, the force that he exerts on the platform. That is a good one. And the third question is, what would be F for him to pull up the system at a constant speed? That is a great one. In order for us to do this problem, which students often find it very difficult, is just to draw the right free body diagram. For a matter of illustration, I'm going to draw the free body diagram for the platform only, for the man only, and for the man and the platform. Let me say that again. I'm going to draw the free body diagram, taking the platform as our system only, taking the man as our system only, as well as a combination of both the person and the platform as our system. So pay attention. Um, the platform is two and the man is one, according to the levels. So we know that the platform obviously has weight. So there is a force of gravity that the earth exerts on the platform. This is M1G. Now, there is also the normal force. Remember, the guy is standing on a platform. So the platform exerts a normal force on him upwards by Newton's third law. He also exerts a normal force on the platform downwards. So I'm going to denote that normal force here. So this is the normal force that the man exerts on the platform. Now, if you look at it, the platform is tied to a rope and he pulls the rope downwards and exerts a tension force upwards. And that tension force is transmitted from where he pulls the rope onto the platform. So we have a tension force acting T. So if we want to translate our diagram, um, it will look like this. You have tension upwards. You will have the normal force exerted by the man on the platform downwards. And you will have the weight of the platform acting downwards. The system is accelerating upwards. Keep that in mind. So let's move on to the man. Obviously, we have the weight of the guy acting downwards. This is M1G. And we have the normal force that the platform exerts on him. Also, remember the guy pulls the weight, the pulls the rope downwards. This is the point where students often missed it. He pulls the string downwards by Newton Third's, by Newton's third law, the string will pull on him upwards. Now with an equal but oppositely directed force. That means that we have a tension force uh, acting on him upwards. So if we do the free body diagram, we will have two forces upwards. That will be the tension, and uh, that will be the normal force, 2, 1. And uh, we will have one force downwards, which is M1, G. So if we consider the guy and the platform as a system, I'm going to do this. If we consider this as a system, then you will notice that the weight of the system will act downwards. So the weight of the system will act downwards. This will be M1 plus M2G. That is the weight of the person and the weight of the platform altogether. And the upward force acting on the system will be 2T. Look about it, look at it carefully. He exerts a downward force F, and by Newton's third law, the string exerts an upward force on him. By Newton's third law, the string exerts an upward force on the platform. So if you put the guy and the platform together, there will be two forces pointing upwards and all tension forces. So the very first question is for us to determine the acceleration of the system. Looking at our free body diagram, the question I want to ask is, there are three free body diagrams right here. You have the free body diagram for the platform. This is M1 plus M2G, and this is 2T. So the question is, 
Which free body diagram will help you the most? Which free body diagram will help you the most? Just think about it for a second. If we use the free body diagram, considering him and the platform as our system, we know that the summation of F will be equal to 2T minus M1 plus M2 multiplied by G. All of this will be equal to M1 plus M2 all multiplied by A. That means that the acceleration A is equal to 2F minus M1 plus M2G divided by M1 plus M2. This is the expression for the acceleration of the system. Now the next question would be, what is the force that he asserts on the platform? Remember that F is given, F is 300, M1 is 40 kilograms, M2 is 20 kilograms, and uh, let's take G to be 10 to make our calculation simple. If we insert all of that there, we will have the acceleration A equal to um, 2 multiplied by 300 newtons minus 40 plus 20 multiplied by 10 all divided by all divided by 40 plus 20 40 plus 20 is is 60 times 10 that will give us 600 divided by this this is equal to zero in other words the acceleration of the system is zero what does that imply it means that the platform and the person are being pulled up with a constant speed that is a good revelation now the next question is to calculate the force that he asserts on the platform if the acceleration of the system is zero it essentially implies that the sum of forces acting on him the person is which is equal to n 21 plus t minus m1 g will be equal to zero in which case this implies that um, n21 will be equal to m1g minus t which will be equal to 400 minus 300 newtons in other words the force that he asserts on the platform is equal to 100 newtons this is a good one is equal to 100 newtons remember that the acceleration of the system is zero that would mean if a is equal to zero this would mean that 2t minus m1 plus m2g is equal to zero in other words 2t is equal to m1 plus m2g which means that t is equal to one half m1 plus m2 all multiplied by g so this is the expression for the tension in the string that will cause the system to be pulled up with a constant speed and if we add all of that this will be one half 40 plus 20 multiplied by 10 this is 60 times 10 this is 600 this will be 300 newtons which is the force he asserts on the platform meaning that he pulls himself up with a constant speed this was actually one of the questions i've given in examinations um, several times so please if you have any questions regarding your understanding of this problem ask in the discussion forum below and we will be able to help you Thank you so much and remain blessed.